Hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Bitcoin, blockchain, and cryptocurrencies. I'm also gonna introduce you to about five different resources so that you can learn about it, uh, follow the market, just become better educated about this stuff. I think this is a great area to invest some of your time and energy to really dive into something that it's growing and expanding and may be here to stay in terms of blockchain technology. There are jobs that are paying crazy amounts of money if you can code blockchain, and we're going to talk about some of those resources, as well as if you're interested in investing. At the end of the day, I'm going to just kind of present you some resources that I use on a daily basis to stay up to date on all three of those things. So some of you may not have realized this, but there are actually a ton of books on Bitcoin. And right now, Humble Bundle has one going on for about the next two weeks where you can pay what you want. And for a dollar, you get six books on Bitcoin, uh, breaking it down piece by piece. I, I'm coming in on the $15 tier because I need the Bitcoin for dum dummies. But uh, so, so you can dive into various aspects of this. Python uh, Bitcoin programming is a interesting one you can get for a dollar, as well as just building blockchain products. A lot of this is just being introduced to the technology, what they're about, and getting started. You can even start coding your own blockchain, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And as always, guys, you can donate your money, or rather, when you buy, you can choose to give it all to charity, you can cho choose to give it all to me. But if you're interested in learning more about Bitcoin, blockchain, and cryptocurrencies, I think this is a pretty good uh, bundle to get started with. So uh, let's start with Coinbase. If you're not familiar with Coinbase, Coinbase is what's referred to as a wallet which is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically something that holds your money, kind of like a bank. Uh, and Coinbase has three specific types of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Now, there's a ton, and we're going to look at a list, a very large list in a second, about what those, what those coins are and as they're growing in the market cap and everything. And my cat's about to knock over my monitors. But uh, <laughs> so... Um, you can see I have a little bit of money, not a little bit, I have a lot of bit of money I invested in into all of this and I'm, I'm really, uh, really just kind of sitting on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it when I buy a house, I'll probably cash out. But Coinbase is a place for you to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. It's probably the largest wallet online that people use and most trusted. I, I couldn't recommend it more. And if you're interested to it, I'll include my affiliate link down below. When you, you invest $100, you'll get $10 in Bitcoin and so will I. Now let's talk about some YouTube channels that are really, really nice to to learn Bitcoin. There's two main ones that I, I watch almost every day. And I haven't this last week because I've been, I've been kind of grinding it out. But uh, uh, there is uh, Box Mining who, I don't know what this guy does. But he's like traveling to conf. I don't know if he's independently wealthy from coins, but he's always traveling to conferences and checking things out. So, um, box mining is really good. He kind of breaks it down. He always gives the caveat that hey, this is just advice because uh, you know he's not like an investment uh, per, uh, genius or anything like that. But he he know he knows about the market very detailed. Posts videos you can see daily almost. And is always talking about what's going on. He's a very, very intelligent guy. Very passionate about it. I couldn't recommend Box Mining more, as well as Ivan on Tech. Ivan on Tech is a, another great one, and uh, he, he, he's very, he's very. Uh, both these guys do a very good job of explaining the market and explaining these very complex concepts in a, in a, in a, a very detailed manner, but really kind of. A lot, so I, I've been picking up acronyms fr from here. So uh, occasionally they will they will explain their acronyms. There's probably nothing I hate more than going into a new sort of hobby, a new interest, and then hearing them throw around all these acronyms and then not being able to follow along with what that is. Uh, but so the, there are some acronyms that are thrown around uh, between here. But you'll pick up a lot of stuff. And you'll learn a lot of stuff. And this guy's also going to a ton of conventions and everything. So if you're interested in learning about cryptocurrencies on a kind of a daily basis, I'll, I'll include their channel links in the description below. Now let's look at how many, some of you may have only been, exp been exposed to Bitcoin, right? So Bitcoin is like the big popper, right? The OG, if you will. They, they control a ton of the market cap. You'll see right here, this market cap, they're number one. Out of all the uh, coins going, they are the one that are, is worth the most. 
Uh, they control about 50% of the market. And what that basically means is that when it comes to... Um, when it, when it comes to cryptocurrencies, and you can see there's over a thousand. There's really about a hundred a top a top hundred cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin and Ethereum um, are the the two sort of on top, but uh, Bitcoin is much larger than Ethereum. And then you'll see Litecoin on here as well, uh, which Coinbase does those three. Uh, Ripple has started taking taking over as well. Um, so the way that Bitcoin has been kind of climbing has, I don't know. I'm still learning about the technology behind blockchain. It's very interesting because I still have no idea what's going on with it, which makes it very <laughs> intriguing because I consider myself someone uh, who understands technology to a degree. You know, being a developer, you have you have a little bit of an understanding, and I'm con continuing to try and educate myself. Oh, here it is, 52.3% of all the cryptocurrency. That basically just means that of the, the market value, the money that is into this, um that's how much bitcoin is which looks like oh my goodness almost what is that two billion am i am i reading that the trading volume that has been traded is two billion dollars that's how many that's how much uh bitcoin is floating around it's buying and selling so people are using this quite a bit and then over here in the market cap is that 79 billion dollars is how much money is floating around in Bitcoin, which is pretty crazy. You can see right now. Uh, so I, I actually check this out on occasion just because I find it so interesting because you'll see trends and you'll see sometimes uh, some coins will go up, some coins will go down. It's an interesting way to try and make money. Now, I say try because I, I'm not trying to give anyone investment advice. Um, I just kind of think that, hey, you should have some money in everything and try to diversify. And this is something that can grow 25% in a day and can drop 25% in the day. And it just is kind of a strange thing at, as to what you can get into. Um, again, but that's why I'm trying to present you with the books and the YouTube channels, as well as this uh, very alluring. Um, you know what this kind of reminds me of? If Have you guys ever seen the debt clock? Let me see if I can bring this up. There is a debt clock site that shows you all the all the uh, U.S. debt in real time, and it's intoxicatingly disgusting. So you'll see right here. This is so. What this is is basically the national debt going up every every um, second, and you can see this uh, student na uh, student loan debt right here. The personal debt per citizen in the United States of the of America, and this incl includes personal debt, which can be home, uh, mor uh, your your own debt, your home, your home uh, mortgage debt, loan debt, credit card debt. So, in this country, it's supposed to be the greatest country on earth. The average person has fifty six thousand dollars of debt, which is scary, 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 scary. If you ask me. Because the average family in America makes 55000 Think about that uh, for a second. And then it goes into tax. Anyhow, we're getting off topic. Um, I'll include a link to this as well because I, I think you guys can learn a lot about what not to do and maybe make educated decisions about, about what you should be paying in tax or how much you pay in taxes and what you should, you know, what that works out and who's – anyhow, that's a separate video but that's something that i thought that's something that reminds me of this although not as detailed right this is just a table going through here and bootstrap but you can follow the market and see how crazy a lot of these these coins are right a lot of how the growth on some of these coins and where they're going and what they're doing and you know maybe try and follow the trends at least just sort of see oh well this one jumped 10 this one jumped 20 what's going on here maybe i should get uh, interested like I don't know what's going on with this one but this one jumped 150 percent in a week that's kind of insane why is that <laughs> right but that's the crazy world of, blo of blockchain and cryptocurrencies and and I think we're just sort of um, getting into the the beginning stage of blockchain I know I interviewed I'm forgetting his his product but basically uh, uh, one of the guys I interviewed on my channel he's building a YouTube that's based off blockchain so it has nothing to do with servers and I remember interviewing him and he has about 10 employees or 10, 10 developers at that time and he couldn't really clearly communicate the idea of blockchain and what it was what it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to to help like, I, I guess clearly communicate how it works, at least to me, with my limited knowledge, even more so then than now. 
Um, but it's something that I, I, I am – people ask me all the time, Dylan, are you going to get into AI? Are you going to get into data analytics? Are you going to get into machine learning? If I'm, if I'm going to sort of dive into any direction, it's probably going to be blockchain. Um, I, now, I haven't started studying blockchain, but I can tell you that I probably will. Uh, this is something that I want to have to do research from a technical aspect of how to get started. But just like anything else, guys, you can dive in, you can educate yourself, and you can learn, and you can you get you can get reward rewarded rather for that time you spent learning and educating yourself. As I I plan to do with blockchain one day. Anyhow, guys, I just want to do a little video about um, cryptocurrencies. Share. Someone asked me to share like a top five cryptocurrency channels, and uh, I don't really watch five. I watch about two to three. Um, I watch th those two are the main ones. I have two others that occasionally I'll watch, but they don't put out very good videos, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I didn't share them. And then, of course, there's the Humble Bundle as well. And Coinbase was another great resource for people looking to get started. So if you're interested in that, I'll include links down below. You can help me out. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Support me on Patreon and join the Facebook group. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you guys think about cryptocurrencies. I felt kind of iffy pu putting this video out because... It is kind. It is a very risky sort of investment. It, uh, you know, it's worked out well for other people. But I don't. I don't necessarily mind uh, reminding people to invest. But I will say that if you are getting in, if you are getting interested in the cryptocurrency market, and you are, this is undisclo This is undiscovered territory, guys. This is something that has never happened before, and is new. And I, uh, you don't know what's going to happen, right? And so. If you do decide to invest your money like I have, um, you know, whatever it is, right? I started with $300 and, you know, I steadily grew it. But if you do decide to do that, just be, be aware that you may lose your money. You, you very well may. And so kind of like gambling, only buy, only, only gamble what you can afford to lose. So that's my little, my little caveat on um, cryptocurrency. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IOTs, hacks, do-it-yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi, they have some great how-to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out and thanks for watching.